Scandinavian Airlines SAS pilots in Norway, Sweden and Denmark walked off the job on Friday after wage talks ended without an agreement. The strike has led to the cancellation of domestic, European and long-haul flights, affecting thousands of passengers. Read more, Ryanair staff strike in six EU countries The pilot unions had been in wage negotiations in the three Scandinavian countries since March. Earlier this month, they called for 1,500 SAS pilots to go on strike on Friday if no breakthrough was reached. The two sides were too far apart, and there was no reason to believe that a compromise could be reached, the Office of the National Mediator of Norway said in a statement cited by Reuters as it announced the breakdown of the Norwegian talks on Friday. Talks also collapsed in Denmark and Sweden, despite external mediators being brought in for the final stages. Read more, Ryanair strikes deal with German pilot union SAS said it was still willing to bargain and hoped to reach an agreement as soon as possible. SAS is prepared to continue to negotiate, but if the requirements were to be met, they would have very negative consequences for the company, an SAS statement said. Nonetheless, the pilot associations have chosen conflict. The airline has cancelled about 70% of its flights, affecting over 72,000 passengers on Friday. It said thousands more could be impacted over the weekend. The strike is not affecting SAS Ireland or airlines that are subcontractors of SAS, the carrier said. Boeing 747, the original jumbo jet turns 50 The name says it all a British Airways jumbo approaching Heathrow Airport near London. This picture shows why the Boeing aircraft officially designated the 747 was quickly given the nickname, Jumbo Jet, shortly after its market launch 50 years ago. The four-engine jet is simply huge. Boeing 747, the original Jumbo Jet turns 50 old friends Boeing President Bill Allen, left, and the head of the U.S. airline Pan Am to one trip on February 9, 1968 after the maiden flight of the first 747. The two had a long-standing friendship. According to legend, Tripp is said to have approached Allen as the plane maker was finishing plans for the wide-body aircraft. If you build it, I'll buy it. Boeing's answer, if you buy it, I will build it. Boeing 747, the original jumbo jet turns 50 traveling in elegance. The new 747 was not only praised for its technical innovations, it also stood for glamour. With a lounge serving cocktails, it promised a sleek and relaxed travel experience. At more than 70 meters, 230 feet long and with a wingspan of almost 60 meters, it offered space for between 366 and 550 passengers, depending on how the seats were arranged. Boeing 747, the original jumbo jet turns 50 catastrophes. Unfortunately, the jumbo jet is also associated with great calamities. The crash of a Lufthansa plane in 1974 shortly after takeoff in Nairobi cost 59 lives. In 1977, two jumbos collided at an airport in Tenerife and 583 died in that accident. In 1988, 270 people were killed in the crash of a jumbo over the small town of Lockerbie in Scotland after the explosion of a terrorist bomb on board. Boeing 747, the original jumbo jet turns 50 open wide An unforgettable characteristic of the jumbo jet is its hump, the upper deck, in which, among other things, the cockpit is located. This design allows the cargo version of the plane to have a bow door that allows for generous loads. Today, Boeing practically only sells the four-engine aircraft in the freight version since it uses so much fuel and other more efficient planes are available. Boeing 747, the original jumbo jet turns 50 a heavy load the US Space Shuttle Discovery rides piggyback on a giant, here a photo from 2012. The shuttle carrier aircraft, SCA, were two modified 747-100s made to transport the Space Shuttle for the U.S. Space Agency NASA.
They were normally used to return the shuttles to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida whenever one arrived at an alternative landing site. Boeing 747, the original jumbo jet turns 50 Air Force One out of the 1,548 jumbo 747s built, only a few will ever be able to call themselves Air Force One, even though US President Donald Trump has also ordered the next presidential aircraft based on the 747 model line. The Japanese Emperor and the Sultan of Brunei also use the Queen of the Skies as their official government plane. Boeing 747, the original jumbo jet turns 50 Ed Force One the British heavy metal band Iron Maiden lands in May 2016 with its chartered Boeing 747 at the airport in Dusseldorf. At the time metal hits and plane spotters secured the best seats to watch the plane, dubbed the Ed Force One, after the band's mascot, the Monster Eddie, land and take off. Incidentally, the plane was flown by lead singer Bruce Dickinson himself. Boeing 747, the original jumbo jet turns 50 a flying dinosaur like the even bigger Airbus A380 in the foreground. The 747 no longer meets the economic requirements of airlines that prefer long-haul dual-engine aircraft such as the A350 or the Boeing 777 and 787. In the past year there were only a total of 18 new orders for the 747 Jumbo Jet, in all there are only 24 unfinished orders on the books. Author, Klaus Ulrich TR, Nanometer, RC, Reuters, App AFP Every Day, DW's editors send out a selection of the day's hard news and quality feature journalism. Sign up for the newsletter here. Let's blog ads. Why?